by Shepherd Vice President for Athletics, Chauncey Woonbush. How, how are you doing today, Chauncey? I'm doing well. How are you guys doing? We're doing great, and uh, we got to wa- watch a good game last night where uh, Shepherd men able to uh, beat the number 14 team in the country, first win against a top-ranked team or a tw- top 25 team since 2019. Yeah, it was a great, uh, great win for our program. You know, obviously our kids have been working really hard, and it was, you know, great to see them, you know, finish a game against a really great opponent. And uh, we have you on the phone today because you made a hire within the athletic department this week, uh, bringing back somebody who's not too, uh, not unfamiliar with Shepard and Tim Zegler. You announced him as the new assistant athletic director for external affairs. Yeah, really excited to um, to have Tim back. You know, as you mentioned, he's a Shepherd alum, and you know, it's always great to bring someone back that has ties to the university because you know that you know their heart is really going to be in it. And you know, certainly that's not to say that somebody that doesn't have ties, their heart won't be in it. But you know, Tim, being local, being an alum, um, having a good solid sports background, um, we just thought that he could come in and you know add um, some nice value to uh, to that position. Chauncey, uh, can you explain to people that may not know what an assistant athletic director for external affairs does? Sure. Um, You know, basically revenue generation. So whether it be, you know, working with, you know, marketing, ticket sales, um, you know, working with donors, oversight of corporate sales, just anything that is associated with uh, revenue generation within the athletic department is what Tim is going to have oversight of. And then there's ancillary um, responsibility as well, you know, game day management, sport oversight, and things of that nature. Chauncey Collin here. Were there any other candidates for the job and what uh, kind of stood out f- from Ziegler that made him the best candidate for the job? Yeah, we were, you know, fortunate to have, you know, several candidates apply and, um, you know, we went through the whole search committee process and I think we ended up bringing four uh, candidates to campus just to make sure that we were, you know, uh, going through the appropriate vetting process. And, you know, what stood out from Tim was just, you know, personality, kind of mannerisms, you know, again, background as alum, background um, from a sports standpoint, and he just seemed really passionate and he wanted to be here, which, you know, again, is something that um, that stood out to us as well. And for you guys as a department, I, I, I went back and did some research because I remember I'm pretty sure we had you on last May because you made it higher for that position as well. Uh, but Mark Warren since left to take another position. Um, what, uh, what kind of was that transition like without having an assistant AD for external affairs for quite a few months? Yeah, you know, it's always difficult when you don't have, you know, a full staff and, you know, it, it basically required everybody else on my team to to step up. So, you know, obviously I had to, you know, take on some responsibilities and um, Aaron Lee, who is um, one of our graduate assistant assistants here in the athletic department, um, was absolutely huge with regards to, you know, taking on responsibilities associated with ticket sales and, you know, parking at at football games and stuff like that. So, um, you know, we were just able to kind of band together and, you know, focus on, you know, the tasks at hand while we, you know, were short of staff. But, you know, I'll tell you that it made for a, a little bit longer, you know, fall semester, but, you know, I think it you know, overall things went really, really well. And I can't tell you how excited we are to have that extra body, those extra set of hands, you know, that can help us with, you know, those responsibilities that I mentioned earlier. And we saw him out and about at the basketball game last night. No stranger to uh, the sidelines courtside there at the Butcher Center. He was an assistant coach for uh, the men's team from 2011 to 13. Yeah, absolutely. Again, you know, strong ties. We got a really great recommendation from Coach Namlik as well. Um, again, you know, when Tim was on campus, he just, you know, provided, um, you know, reassurance that, you know, he was going to come in, he was going to be focused. Uh, he's going to, you know, obviously get out into into the community and, you know, help spread the, continue to spread the brand of Shepherd University Athletics and all the sports that we obviously have here. And again, we're, we're excited to have him. He's, you know, only about a week and a half in. He's probably drinking from a fire host to an extent but um, I, I'm really optimistic that he's going to do a really nice job for us 
Uh, and Chauncey, this is a new role for him, uh, for Tim, and he hasn't done something to to this extent before. But I guess what kind of stood out to you about this, uh, about his uh, prior experience? Yeah, you know, I, I think um, again, having experience from uh, from a coaching standpoint, you know, certainly helps. You know, that means that you know he should be able to relate to you know not only our coaches but our student athletes. Um, he certainly has experience with dealing with um, you know either customers or members and, and things of that nature, which I think is going to um, you know allow him to go out and be able to present himself really well and represent Shepherd University athletics in, in a positive light. So you know you, you throw a couple of those things together as well as you know his personality just comes off as a really nice guy. Again, you know those are some of the attributes that we thought would allow him to be successful in this role. Any final comments about the new hiring before we uh, switch topics? No, again, you know, um, after a long fall, we're really just excited to have, you know, you know, Tim on board. Again, an extra set of hands, an extra body to, to help offset, um, you know, the, the, the amount of responsibilities that we have within the, the department. So, again, I think Tim's going to do a great job and, you know, glad to have him on board. All right, let's switch topics then and talk about former Shepherd coach Monty Cater, who was just announced uh, to be going into the 2023 College Football Hall of Fame. And just get your comments on that. I uh, could not think of a better person, a more deserving, um, you know, coach. Um, obviously, I had an opportunity to play for Coach Cater in his early years here at Shepherd, and you know, like, uh, you know, many former uh, players of his, I certainly wouldn't be the person that I am today, you know, without the experience and the leadership that I had um, when I was here as a student athlete. You know, Coach Cater is, he's a gem. He's just one of the nicest people that you'll ever want to know. He's, you know, he's a legend. He's a legend here, you know, obviously at Shepherd University and in the Panhandle. And I'm glad the, um, you know, the committee, the Hall of Fame committee, um, you know, saw enough in him and his his background and his success to to go ahead and and give him a spot in that um, in that in that space. I think it's well deserved. Obviously, this just happened uh, about a week and a half ago, so not a lot of planning could have taken place. But do you guys at least have initial plans, maybe, to honor Coach Cater during the football season? Yeah, that's you know obviously something that um, is going to occur. Uh, we'll work with the, you know the National Football Hall of Fame um, you know committee to to do something formal you know at one of our football games. Obviously, no details as of yet, but you know we're going to make sure that um, you know Coach Cater is celebrated for this um, amazing honor. And uh, obviously, we've seen kind of stuff coming out from Shepherd football. It seems like you'll need to uh, hire a few more assistants this off season. Yeah, you know, I, I think it's you know it's it's coaching, it's 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 athletics, it's it's football. It's something that you know we deal with here um, on an annual basis, and you know it, it it can be difficult. But at the same time, I think when you when you have success, such a successful program. Um, you know, coaches are going to get opportunities to, to go on to, you know, different um, different opportunities. So, you know, we don't we, we appreciate the opportunities um, that were given to these other coaches, and we thank them for all of their hard work. We had a great season. Certainly couldn't couldn't have done it without them. Um, but you know, like we have to reload from an athletic uh, from a student athlete standpoint. You know, we also have to reload from a coaching standpoint, and I'm sure Coach McCook and his staff are working on that diligently. Is there anything that you uh, want to announce about the athletic department moving forward or any uh, events going on? Uh, nothing uh, comes to mind right this second. Um, you know, obviously working to, uh, you know, uh, finish up strong from a, uh, from a basketball standpoint. Um, obviously all of our spring sports will be compete starting competitions, baseball, softball, you know, men's, women's tennis, women's lacrosse, you know, cross-country, 
Um, I'm sure I'm forgetting a sport or two, but you know they'll be getting started here in the in the coming month or so. So we're excited about that, and you know obviously we'll we'll have a you know football spring game, you know sometime in April, and you know in June we'll have you know our foot our annual football golf um, tournament, and you know there'll be some fundraising initiatives that we'll um, obviously put together as well. But um, status quo as of right now. Chauncey, before we let you go, so far I believe it's now up to five Shepherd Ram football players have announced that they want to pursue their dreams and have declared for the NFL draft. And last year, Shepherd University hosted a pro day for the seniors as well that were around the region looking to do a future in football, either via the NFL, the USFL, or the XFL. Have there been any announcements made for another pro day this year to take place at Shepard? Yeah, we've had um, a preliminary discussions. We're definitely going to do that. I uh, don't have any um, details uh, that are specific that I'd like to share right now, but we're absolutely going to do that. We certainly believe that um, you know we'll get a lot of participation um, from NFL teams just based on you know the number of, of young men that um, have the ability to to uh, hopefully step up to the next level. So yes, that is in the plans, and um, we'll certainly let everybody know uh, when it's set in stone. Shepherd Vice President for Athletics, Chauncey Wimbush, our guest. Thanks for the time, Chauncey, and uh, we'll see you in a couple weeks back out of the Butcher Center. Uh, Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate your support.